This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Vehicle securely. Remove all lug nuts. Remove the appropriate wheel. Work on one brake assembly at a time, using the assembled brake for reference if necessary. Before disassembling the brake system, position a drain pan under the brake assembly and clean the caliper and the surrounding area with brake system cleaner. Again, do not use compressed air and do not inhale any brake dust. Using a C-clamp, push both caliper pistons back into their bores to provide room for the new pads. As the pistons are depressed, the fluid in the master cylinder reservoir will rise. Make sure it doesn't overflow. Remove the two caliper mounting bolts. Pull the caliper off of the pads, then hang it from the upper control arm with a piece of wire. Do not allow the caliper to hang by the brake hose. Remove the outer and inner brake pads. Pry off the upper and lower anti-rattle clips from the mounting bracket. Apply some anti-squeal compound to the backing plates of the new pads. Install the upper and lower anti-rattle clips to the mounting bracket. Also, replace the larger anti-rattle clip located inside the caliper if one is provided with the new pads. Be sure that the clip is fully seated. Pull out the caliper sliding pins and lubricate them with high temperature brake grease. Make sure the dust boot is also in satisfactory condition. Install the inner and outer brake pads. Make sure both ends of the pads are properly seated in the anti-rattle clips. Install the caliper onto the pads, then install the mounting bolts. Tighten the caliper mounting bolts to the specified torque setting. Pump the brakes several times to seat the pads against the disc. Repeat this procedure on the remaining front brake pads. Install wheels and lug nuts, then lower the vehicle to the ground and tighten lug nuts to specs. Check the brake fluid level in the master cylinder reservoir and add new brake fluid, if necessary, until the fluid reaches the max mark in the reservoir. Check the operation of the brakes before driving the vehicle in traffic. Try to avoid heavy brake applications until the brakes have been applied lightly several times to fully seat the pads. 